This morning I'm going to speak with Nance Frank from the gallery on Green Street. Now she's going to talk with us about One Race, The Human Race. This is a two-part project that will feature work from the legendary Mario Sanchez. It will also feature a Cuban-American museum artist exchange. This is something that hasn't happened in over five decades. Nance, it sounds like you have been very busy putting this all together. I have. It's it's taken several years, but it's a really exciting program. Mario Sanchez is going to have an exhibit at the National Gallery in Havana on January 17th of next year. And then a dozen Cuban artists, renowned, world-renowned Cuban artists, will be coming to Key West. And they will be showing in five venues. The Hemingway Home, the oldest house, the Mel Fisher Maritime Museum, the Gatto Building, the historic cigar factory, and at the Studios Key West. Wonderful. So yeah. two, or those are all five great locations they are. that you have, and these are two projects that that make up this project called the One race. race. The human one race, race. The human race. Okay, mm -hmm. and tell me, this is kind of a play mm -hmm. off of one human family, right? Actually, I think one human family is a play off one race, which was the motto that Mario Sanchez and his parents and grandparents used during the forming of the Cuban Revolution. You know, the United States was born in 1776, and the Constitution and the Bill of Rights were for everybody, but it didn't turn out that way, exactly. And the Cubans also fought for gender, racial, and religious equality, but they didn't earn their independence from Spain until 1902. So in the 1860s, this is very important to Key West history, um, they had a failed revolution. And the utopians from Cuba came to Key West and became the majority of the population. And from that day forward, we had integrated factories where blacks and whites and Hispanics, men and women, and people of all religions worked side by each. And schools, San Carlos was integrated from the 1860s and we had an African church, an AME church here before the Civil War. Wow. Yeah. Isn't so, that something? The history here is so yeah. fascinating. Now. Yes. And we've always had this cultural and important bridge with Cuba. And this is trying to reestablish that cultural bridge. Mm -hmm. And this is something that hasn't been done in five decades. More than five decades, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah, so it was a lot of work, I know, for you to put it all together. But why did you decide that it was so important to have this happen? Well, I think the future of Key West and the Florida Keys is going to, when Cuba opens, it will depend on what happens and what kind of relationship we have. You know, the Miamians don't get along with the Cubans very well, but we do. We get along with everybody. And we're the natural bridge. Uh, when Caruso, the famous opera singer, went to Havana, he'd always stop in Key West first. And Louis Armstrong and Nureyev and all of the important people. And it's, it's just much more of a natural way for people to go and come from Cuba because it's only, only 90 miles. We'll have ferries. And now is when we should establish those important contacts mm -hmm. with people and have them get to know us and us get to know them and mm -hmm. work with them. You know, the arts in the Florida Keys are a $30 million industry. In, in Cuba, it's probably a billion dollar industry. We have so much to learn from them mm -hmm. and so much work we can do together. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, yeah. I think it's great to establish these relationships now. And now, on top of all of this, Nance, you still have projects taking place very soon at the Gallery on Green Street. Yes, indeed. Um, Andy Thurber and Wayne Garcia are doing a wonderful show on October 19th called Old Island Ways. They're both 52 years old, and they both were, Wayne was born here of several generations. Andy came when he was six months old, and the history of what they lived through in the 60s and 70s is so important to them, and it's going to be terrific. And Wayne is going to come to Havana and demonstrate traditional Key West folk art technique of Mario Sanchez at the National Gallery for Mario's exhibit.
Great. Yeah. So two projects coming up very mm -hmm. soon, and if you want any more information on that, just check out the information mm -hmm. you see on the bottom of the screen. Nance, it's always a pleasure having you on. Great to see you always, Jenna. Thanks Thank for you. being back. I'm going to take a quick break this morning. I'll be right back after these messages. Please stay with me.